Hey, smart chiropractors, welcome to February. I am Dr. Jeff Lang, made part of your smart chiropractor team, and February content campaign has been released. We're in the first week of it right now, and it is all about spinal discs. Now, if you read the type around the copy around this video, you've seen that spinal discs, when you type that into Google, there's 75 million plus results. There is a lot of information out there about spinal discs. And as chiropractors, I don't think there's a day that goes by when we don't have a question, a patient education moment, or something to do with spinal disc is the heart of what we do as chiropractors. So this February, right now, we are going to break down, I'm going to take a few minutes and break down our February content campaign, talk about the importance of it. And also, if you have any questions, drop them down below. I will do my best to answer them. So as you can see right here, we have lined up the first four weeks of February. Right now, we are in week number one. What are spinal discs made of? Super important conversation for you to be having with your patients because they have no idea what a spinal disc is made of. I can assure you of that. So it's a great teaching opportunity, a great opportunity to build trust, to build value, to teach and invite as we talk about here with the smart chiropractor, discussing anatomy, discussing what spinal discs are made of, helping people better understand their bodies is a fantastic way to build trust and rapport with the Smart Chiropractor. We make that super easy with all of the automated content that we give you. Now, as we get into next week, we're gonna be talking about the types of spinal disc problems. Big impact area, as you can imagine. Tens of millions of people dealing with spinal disc issues. Tons of confusion in the marketplace. Do I need surgery? Do I get an injection? Is chiropractic care right for me? Is regenerative orthopedics the best option? Getting out there and starting to describe the different types of spinal disc problems, again, it emphasizes that expertise that you have. It showcases and builds trust based upon presenting people with high quality information. And it also teases into those second two weeks of the month where we start to get into helping assist with the clinical decision making. So types of spinal disc problems, week number two is being focused upon that. Week number three is strengthening your spinal discs. Now we probably all know as chiropractors that muscles can be strengthened, not necessarily discs, but this is about resiliency and about getting it into patient language. And they're curious, hey, what can I do to be more resilient in patient terms? That is, how do I strengthen my spinal discs? How do I reduce my risk of injury that's what week number three is all about. We talk about exercise. We talk about movement. We talk about the things that we do, teach, and coach on every single day as chiropractors, and that's where things really start to come together as we head into the fourth week of this month, keeping your spinal discs healthy. Keeping your spinal discs healthy, again, great opportunity to showcase the importance of exercise, the importance of movement, the importance of proper nutrition, the, important, the importance of getting rest between activity, all of those things we live, breathe, eat every single day as chiropractors. This month, February, spinal discs, these four weeks really just lay it out for you and make it incredibly easy to meet your patients where they are at. Anybody that's had a spinal disc problem, they do not want to have one in the future. And anybody that's seen a close loved one, a family member, a spouse, a partner, whoever it might be, go through a spinal disc issue, it's enough to, to scare you stiff. You, nobody wants to deal with this, yet it's something that between the ages of 45 and 65, a significant portion of the population will deal with a disc issue. So getting out there, building trust, having consistency with your messaging, getting out there multi-platform, which is what we're all about with the Smart Chiropractor, get those social posts automated through Facebook, through Instagram, YouTube updated. Make sure that you're sending out those weekly emails as we do for you automatically with Cairo emails. This is a topic that is very, very impactful. It's one of those ones that I look forward to each and every year because I know it is something that can help build your practice. It's about trust. It's about credibility. This is about helping people make informed decisions above all else. And again, with the crazy amount of information that's out there and much of it being absolutely terrible, I think we would agree, you as a chiropractor being that voice of reason, leading the conversation in your community, there's nothing more important than that 
you're ultimately going to help your patients and that's going to help your practice continue to grow as you see more people, as more people know who you are, as you build that connection with people each and every day online. We talk about it all the time within the process of the smart chiropractor, but it really, if you're not a smart chiropractor member yet, here's a nugget for you. Teach and invite consistently. Get out there each day on your social channels. Get out there weekly through email. Get out there weekly through YouTube and make sure that you're teaching and inviting consistently. Teaching is your opportunity to open people's eyes to a different way of health, open people's eyes to your unique message within health. That's the teaching part. That gives you the opportunity to then invite them. That is what marketers would call the call to action. Now you've earned the opportunity to invite them to take the next step. That could be calling your office. It could be hopping on your schedule now. It might be engaging with a piece of content. You can get wildly creative with your invitations, but you gotta get out there. The last part of that, teach and invite consistently, you gotta do it consistently. One great post a year is better than zero, but it's not gonna move the needle for your practice. Inconsistency crushes growth opportunities. You need to make sure that you stay consistent with your posting, with your email. There's a lot to it. That's why we have an entire team of people doing it here for you. So that is all about February spinal discs. If you have any questions, leave them down below. And I wanted to close this video with a bit of breaking news. We've been working hard behind the scenes, not breaking news for us. We've been working hard behind the scenes for months to make a big infrastructure upgrade with our posting and the smart chiropractor. And this is game changing. I'm gonna tack it on to the end of this video right now. But we're also gonna shoot some subsequent videos all around this because it is awesome. Coming soon, soon, not within two days, but certainly soon, we, you are now gonna have the opportunity, we have the opportunity to provide custom fields in all of your posts for your practice. That includes doctor name, that includes phone number, that includes web addresses, that includes practice name. We have an array of custom fields personalized for your practice that we are going to be able to insert into all the posts that go out on your social channels. So we're still working through some of the logistics on that. What post types is it great to have a practice name? What post types is it great to have a call to action with a URL? What post types should have the phone number? We're soldering through all of that right now, but I can tell you our team is incredibly excited. Last year we had, I think it's over 6 million impressions on social media. This year, we are shooting for over 10 million impressions, but more importantly than that, we want engagement and clicks. And hey, we know that the Facebook algorithm, over time, it is less and less people, which is why it's so important to stay consistent, by the way, is that in when organic reach starts to get squished a little bit, you want consistency. You want as many at-bats as possible to generate that engagement. But one area that we know is gonna provide a tremendous amount of upside for all of our Smart Chiropractor members is the opportunity to have personalized posts. Again, doctor's names, URLs to web addresses, phone numbers, you know, doctors, practice names, you name it, we're gonna have the opportunity to have a vast array of personalized custom fields for your practice that will be built in to the automation of all of your posts. We expect this to make a huge difference in engagement, in click-through rate, and we are just super, super psyched to unroll this part, this new level of auto posting with the smart chiropractor. So as you probably know, you've heard me say it a couple times during this video, teach and invite consistently is the name of the game. Stepping things up, making sure that everything is personalized, has direct calls to action, and we're even gonna do some animations with some super, super cool gifts coming into this new year. So I'm super excited. I hope you are as excited as I am. If you have any questions about our February content campaign, drop them down below. There's gonna be more to come on the personalization and customization of your posts that are automated through the Smart Chiropractor. Have an awesome night, and I hope to talk to you very soon. Bye-bye. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to The Smart Chiropractor. We are posting videos on how you can market your chiropractic practice in a way that teach and invites consistently. We have found that is the magic formula to big time growth. So if you like this video, be sure to comment down below, smash that subscribe button, or visit us at thesmartchiropractor.com.